Three man rush. Howard launches downfield for Vaughn in coverage and it's incomplete. Mark Perry was step for step. Did a good job and it's fourth down. Keeper, Duggan. Lowers the shoulder. No sliding for this guy. First down to the 34. Three man rush. Duggan flushed. Again, takes off and runs and weaves his way. That time he did slide. A good decision. It's fourth down and two. Pretty quick here. Two yards to keep this drive alive. Duggan takes off again. First down and more. Max Duggan barreling down inside the 40. He has just said, give me the ball. I'm taking this over on the ground. He wants the ball in his hands with a chance to make a play. Pressure again. Launches downfield. Hudson wide open. Touchdown TCU. Did he push off to create the space? Is this coming back? It will. Jordan Hudson doesn't have safety help. And there's the separation. And the good call there to bring it back in the game at the top. Pressure again. It's picked up. Duggan, though, running out of time. He's got a lot of space. He can run again. Max Duggan, first down, tight ups the sideline, and is finally shoved out of bounds. Max Duggan on the ground has been the story of this drive. No two minutes. The play clock's at three. Another run. Duggan. How does he have anything left in the tank? He barrels in the end zone within two of time. He gets some air back in the lungs and gained three yards. K-State stopped three out of four for their two-point conversions this year. Wide open. Caught. We have a tie game. It's Jared Wiley. And Duggan can barely make it to the sideline. He, he's pushing away teammates to try to congratulate him. What a drive. Uh, it, it's... Across the middle. Deuce Vaughn makes the catch. Almost shook free for a huge play. But he's in a slot here. Rolls out, delivers a throw the fingertips of Warner who couldn't collect it. Hodges Tomlinson in coverage. Helpful. They it's... didn't give him oxygen. I kept waiting. I know. He didn't was... want it. And they're going to go to overtime. Yeah. Barber in motion. It's Miller. Picks his way. Kendron Miller has the edge and he barrels down near the 10 yard line. Kind of a Weird start to the play. It's Duggan rolling. Makes a cut. Stretches. No signal. They spot him short. Just short of the goal line. That was a funky start to the play. Right now, like you said, Chris, it's just inside the one-yard line. But you see this right there. I mean, it's eight-inch line maybe. Behind him. Miller's got the football. Fighting, stretching. No signal. Stop short. Fourth down. Blows his play up. Nobody accounts for him. Able to get into the backfield. There might be some Miller. coaches here who would who would kick this and, and take the lead. Miller is the back. He's got the ball. No! Kansas State stops him! State defense rises up on the goal line and denies Miller. And now any points on their possession will win them a Big 12 title. But what will K-State do here? It's Vaughn on the fly sweep. Deuce Vaughn. He'll be knocked down just short of the marker at the 16. Obviously. Vaughn again. It's a first down. They will talk about that goal line stand forever. And it's a very safe keeper. Howard just goes over, gets the ball in the middle of the field for Ty Zentner. Dead center, 31 yards out. Kansas State outlasts TCU. And they are Big 12 champions for the first time in a decade.
And after fighting from behind in the fourth quarter yet again, Sonny Dykes' offense comes up inches short in the top of the first in overtime. He chose to trust his offensive line and try to punch it in, not settle for three. Duggan, a tremendous job. Most would say this is enough, but it'll be, as Dykes told us yesterday, still kind of an anxious evening in Fort Worth.